Hey everybody, welcome back to We Are the Batman. I'm Mike. And this is Matthew. We are here for our review of the Penguin episode for uh, Gentani, uh, which is, I guess, some kind of uh, Italian toast. Please let me know down in the comments how poorly I mispronounced that. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 this was, um, I mean, this was being touted online as like, welcome to Arkham Asylum. Uh, uh, you know, this is Sophia's episode. This is People were saying this is going to be uh, Chris uh, uh Emmy pitch. If if last week's was Colin Farrell's, and and um, again the young man who is playing, um, uh, 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 where is it, Vic? Uh, uh, Renzi Feliz. Uh, like if last week was their Emmy episode, this week was Sophia's ep- was, yes. was Chris yes. Chris Miliotti's episode. I I can't say enough good things about how well written and acted and directed and edited and everything this episode was no th- this is this is a in my opinion this is a perfect episode this is that whole thing where i think we talked about like at this point in the show everybody has to start dying mm-hmm. and and then how is he going to do that well you don't have to answer that question because you took a left and now we rewound and told the story of what we've been hearing about with sophia yeah. So I it the it was really good. I thought um Mark Strong did a really good job of not imitating John Turturro but not being standard Mark Strong, trying to kind of blend in so it wasn't as jarring that it's not John Turturro anymore. Yeah. Which segue do we have any idea why it's not John Totoro? I think it was just scheduling and budget. And because I think it's what it really comes down to. Yeah. I don't think it was anything like, um, I just didn't know if we knew I hadn't. Read no, or seen I, I don't, I don't think there was ever any like, um, like big reason as to why I think it was just like, um, I mean, I think you're right. Could have been schedule. Yeah. Could have been money. It says yeah. that uh, Mark Strong uh, was revealed portraying Mark Carmine Falcone in flashbacks. Strong replaced Turo. Uh, LaFranc said Turo was unable to reprise his role due to scheduling issues. Uh, so yeah, and but also, okay. I mean, they're setting it ten years in the past, if not more, depending on which flashback yeah. we're in. So, yeah, it, so it, but I just thought he did a really good job of not like I know um, who played this. I'm gonna blend everything so it's not like oh my gosh like if i hadn't seen if i hadn't been such a big fan of john Turturro mm-hmm. and he's ingrained in my head if i had just been like john Turturro, this is the first time i've seen you in the batman and then i saw this show i don't know that i would have been able to tell well not only that they've done a really good job in, in episodes one through three of through little ways in the background like planting almost like subliminal messaging the idea that like carmine's going to look different in this because in yeah. the first episode they talk about like you know the, the, for carmine falcone who was recently killed they show like an old stock photo that's mark strong whenever yes. we see like family portraits and you know stuff around the mansions they're all paintings and they're kind of askewed but it's very clear it's like that's meant to be like mark strong-esque and so yes. it's like they've done a really good job of just like laying the groundwork in the background in really subtle ways to prepare us for when we actually do see him. And yes. again, when we see it, it's in such a drastic flashback that it's, I think, easier for our our minds to work with. But also they do the really key important thing. And I think it's it's the sunglasses that do it. Yes. I think it's I think it's a thousand percent the shades that do it because kind of like in the joke with Green Lantern, like, well, you think I wouldn't recognize you if you took away your cheekbones? It's like, no, but like Superman puts on glasses and it's hard to tell. I mean, like this the shades do a lot. The shades do a lot. (laughs) Where's Velma? Who are you? (laughs) Did you you see that clip that I said that to you? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) My favorite is always the comic of 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 just of just batman wearing glasses like look at me i'm superman but i wear glasses but nobody can tell everyone in metropolis is dumb yeah or what is it the one the facebook you know do you want to tag clark kent son of a yeah. <laughs> it's a picture of superman <laughs> yeah all right sorry but anyway, anyway. no yeah uh, mark strong <laughs> mark strong uh, uh, crushes it and i i already yeah. love mark strong like unabashedly um he's so good as quote unquote young Carmine Falcone. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that was uh, even beyond that. Like he does a fantastic job of 
of the i don't know like it's just like crazy and and it was weird too because like this is the first time as they start talking about stuff i'm like holy crap he's the hangman Mm -hmm. like which 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 honestly when you think about when you think about everything from and this is where where it was like you know such they do such a really good job in this episode of really subtle nuanced ties back to the batman in ways yes because with like oh yeah well that remember like he strangled uh uh uh, selena's mom he tried to strangle something like that's kind of his whole and again the defensive scratches what did we see selena do to his face right at the end of the movie like like that's it's just such great little yellow brick road breadcrumbs back to the batman just a nice way to remind us hey guys this is still yeah. this is still batman yeah. like just, just a little bit a little bit it's a little bit batman um yeah. and some other ways too that we'll, we'll get into but um i want to i just want to talk more about how good mark strong is <laughs> yes oh he was fine it's just one of those times because i kept wondering like what is he going to be like when he shows up yeah and he was great so it's it's always tricky because i was worried that because when we see, like, when you take John Turturro's performance of of Carmine, where it's, he doesn't lose it until he has to. No matter how angry or no matter what's going on, he's always methodical and, and, and the gears are turning behind his head as he's, you know, navigating the conversation with Selena and this and everything going or, or what's going on with Bruce when Bruce comes to approach him about the rumors about his dad. And we see Mark Strong undeniably nail that in the scene that he has with Sophia before he sends her away, where yeah. it's like, I'm like, is he going to start losing it? Is this, is this going to be the part where it's like, oh, this is definitely not ju-. like, no, he it was like it was like the man spent a week in a cabin with John Turturro and just said, yeah. "Walk me through your process." It was incredible. Yeah, and then, dude, the, her name escapes me. Play Sophia, Krista Milioti. Yeah, she's fantastic in this episode. Like, just when you get like this, this episode was nightmare fuel for my wife. Like, I could feel her cringing because this is like her her biggest fear a lot just of people, losing her mind for a lot of women in general like you know just the idea of no one wants to believe me because i'm just i'm just the girl i'm just a woman or and everyone thinks i'm hysterical and or the whole thing of like how do you prove you're not crazy yeah we talked about that on this show several times by it's, admitting it, you're crazy that's how you prove it because yeah. no one's going to believe you. You cannot yeah. talk your way out of, I am not insane. There's no way you just, the more emphatic you get about, no, I'm innocent. I didn't do these things. I wouldn't do these things. The more it's just like, sure, just keep mm-hmm. talking. We will diagnose you with something. But um, also, but also you're, you're in a world where everyone around you more than likely has been paid off by the people who are trying to keep you here. Yeah. You're do oh I'm just gonna do my six months oh okay yeah. okay sure, sure you are yeah whatever mm-hmm. yeah because yeah. Arkham because yeah because because you know Arkham is just known for its well yes. maybe maybe that we don't we don't we don't know yet in this world maybe Arkham doesn't have that reputation yet because you know we're just Thanks. now we're <laughs> we're just now discovering the lengths of the corruption in Gotham you know what I mean yes. so. Yes. Um, there were a lot of, since we've already hinted at it, I want to go ahead and get into this because I know you've been asking me about it because I wasn't sure if you would catch it or not. Um, there were lots of nice little Batman DC mythos, um, um, nuggets in this episode. Um, one of which you did catch, which was the fact that that magpie out of, out of everything, it was, it was Arkham. I remember when she was like, I'm, I I first, I thought they were doing some, some weird take on Harley. I was like, Oh God, please. No, no. And then when she goes, I'm magpie. I think I dropped my, I think I dropped whatever I was holding. And I was like, really? Okay. All right. Show this world. I see see you. I see you. Well, and also setting it 10 years ago all and, and having it be in the women's section of Arkham is like, I even wrote down, well, that's a really great way of having us be in Arkham and not having to show us the Joker. Yeah. Because he's not there yet. 
because Batman's not around yet. This is pre-Batman. Yeah. At this point, you know, uh, Battenson's out there uh, just being a dick being to Andy a- Serkis. Uh, yeah. For- <laughs> I love that. Keep <laughs> training me to be Batman. I don't care about, yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but so we get, we get, uh, magpie was was i mean because magpie is a character that's actually been seen a lot more recent in like the last 10 or so years like it's, it was on it was on i know she showed up on batwoman um i think she was in another arrowverse show at one point she was um, in our favorite cartoon beware the batman <laughs> i was really trying to not bring that up but yeah she wasn't <laughs> aware the batman um you know magpie I, there were some easter eggs for her i believe probably in arkham knight because that one had like a billion of them um but so there was magpie but then there was also there was we got uh detective kenzie shows up at one point who if you don't remember detective kenzie was the mustache in the batman with the broken nose who's working at penguins club who when 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 batman and gordon are having their fake stare down and he goes who's the mustache and he's like okay you say any moonlights for the penguin or he moonlights as a cop the guy that they eventually yeah. that, that um Catwoman tries to throw off the building. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. That's that guy. Okay. Um, uh, okay. But also there's two name. Well, there's there's a name that gets dropped. And this might be me putting a little more than I'm actually there. But at one point, uh, they talk about like someone was supposed to get me in with Congressman Hill. And for some reason, the first place my brain went, you mean like Mayor Hill from Batman the Animated Series? Because that's not out of the realm of possibility. I forgot that I forgot that character. Yeah. Well, the other one, and this is a I am actually kind of shocked you didn't catch this, uh, was Summer Gleason. Summer Gleason, for those who don't know, I'm gonna put this up on screen. Uh is uh for those who don't know, Summer Gleason was this reporter from Batman the Animated Series. Ah, uh, okay. It's been a bit. I know, um, but that's, that's <laughs> well, Summer Gleason is one of those names who, whenever they we do, we see so many reporters and new shit, like like in every Gotham, sh- you know, Batman show we ever, it, it's like it's like the, the GC News is very much a prominent supporting role. We never see Summer Gleason after thirty years, and so I was so I was like, oh. Well, that's cool there. Look at Matt Reeves folding in some other little DC nuggets. Granted, they kill her off off screen. Not super thrilled about that. <laughs> but it's still kind of cool. It's like, again, it's like, hey, guys, don't forget this. Is, like, yeah. this is still a Batman show. They, um, they pulled it. That's good. So no, like, I missed that. I, I think it, okay. it, when her name was said, I was because I was also like it was we didn't start this thing till like 11 o'clock at night. Oh. So it was like I was fighting not to fall asleep. Yeah. And you know, do that thing where I start chewing gum just to make sure I'm active. Gotcha. And uh, yeah. And then like when when it when it started going toward the Arkham thing, I was around. I I was like, nope, yeah. this is great. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, if, if you're not if your adrenaline is not coursing through your body by the time the Arkham stuff starts. Oof. Well, I always worry about like there's some movies or some things like if we watch it, we have to watch something to cleanse a palate before we go to bed. Oh yeah. And cause I could, like I said, I could just feel my wife just yeah. like, cause no, we, I, well, I watched, I watched Bluey before bed <laughs> last night. Yeah. I watched it before bed. I watched Bluey before I went to bed. Did we watch, we watched something I can't remember. Oh, no, you watched Thumbelina oh. beforehand, which is, yeah, horrible. we did. What a leap. What a leap. Yeah. <laughs> no, the, the, the internet at our house died. So we had to go through oh. DVDs. And my daughter's like, oh, hey, I want to watch this. I've never seen this. And I was like, I don't know that I've seen this either. Yeah. Um, One thing I know. Go go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I just, I was just, um, it was Rama one half, the new one. But anyway. Um, Something else I thought was really neat is interesting about this show, because we get a lot more of him in this episode, is Theo Rossi as, as her doctor. Yes. You know, when you cast Juice from Sons of Anarchy and Shade shades, on the yeah. stage, my immediate thought is, oh, well, clearly he's the villain. He seems to just genuinely be like the like one of the few good ones. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like he's like our our Leah Tompkins for for high society, as it were. Um, he is 
and it seems to me like Sophia hints like there may have been something unprofessional uh, during the 10 years that took place. Uh, now, whether it was exchanged looks or something actually happened. It's hard to say. We might never know. That's one of those things we might just kind of, it's like, mm-hmm, we're, we're good. We don't need to know much yeah. more than that. Um, but yeah, he's, he's kind of becoming like her. Everyone's got, everyone's got a right hand. It seems like Penguin's got yeah. Vic and now Sophia's got her doctor, I guess. I don't know. Maybe that little girl. <laughs> oh, we're going to talk about that. Um, I want to talk a little bit more about just some of the stuff that happens in Arkham though, because it's, they I mean, they, they paint a picture of like, no, Gotham's been this way for a long time. It needed Batman. Yes. Like they are really making it clear why this kind of Batman exists in this world. Yeah. It needs it. It really, and why also it's like, you know, what, and I think I, we we talked about this in I think when we reviewed the first ep, the, the first episode of this season, but you know Matt Reeves calling this his epic crime saga, and yeah. we've said before like we keep assuming it's going to be big big bad DC supervillains and you know Mister Freeze Clayface whatever. It's not out of the realm of possibility that the big bads are the mobsters, and that everyone else just kind of you know like like you know yeah Riddler was the big like was the big bad but it was also about the mob in gotham and so now we get to see it's like no they're not just saying like no like gotham really is just like fucked and needs needs batman like it really truly needs him i think they're really trying to hammer in just how essential batman's mission is in this world yeah yeah i i i i did like that and definitely when you have that, like, like you said, like when you're in a situation like that and you, there's no way for you to really get out of it, especially mm-hmm. as you start seeing like, no, your dad has paid some people off. There's, yeah. you know, the, the obvious setup with the girl who's not in chains and they put her in chains and they want her to kill her. Like you just at this point of like, you ain't ever getting out. But then you also see that that other lady was just as much a victim as as she is because she yeah. is begging her to end it. She's not just saying like she's not daring her; she's asking her. And yeah. then when she can't do it, she sees an opportunity to for her own escape. Yeah, let's put it like that. Yeah. And so, but what do they do? But even then, these you know corrupt doctors or whatever still use that. They're like, well, we still hey. She went in there and a pa- another patient died. Window yeah. of opportunity yeah. to do truly unspeakable things, and, yeah. and not to not not to minimize it, but we're going to gloss over it. <laughs> All you need to really know is that just general trigger warning: some messed up stuff happens to Sophia. Um, you know, kind of all the things you would expect in an R-rated Arkham Asylum episode. Yeah, happen. Um, but what I will say is we learn so much about Sophia and Oz's relationship Yes, in the past. And every, I, I dare say by the end of this episode, everything makes sense. Yes. I, I'm like, I understand Every single, I understand the motivations of every single person in this show now. Yeah. I am. I, and I don't know who I'm rooting for. I mean, by <laughs> default, the penguin by default, Oz and Vic, but talk about just everybody being placed in a series of impossible yeah. situations. Well, and you also have that thing of like, for me is like going back to last episode of like, like I had to tell you, Dad. I didn't know that is what was going to happen. Yeah. Like, like I was telling your dad because I wanted to make sure you didn't do something stupid. Not, hey, hang all of this on her and yeah. stick her in Arkham for ten years. Like, but at the he, same time, he didn't do anything. To- <laughs> well, I mean, he. We at the beginning of you know we say that you were just my former driver, and we think, oh, 
so he must have she must have just treated him like shit all the time and he was like nah screw this i'm gonna get one up on her and get me and it was like no she was the only one looking out for him in the organization yeah and when things got tough in a moment of weakness for self for emotional self-defense out of panic she turned on him when she said you're just my driver yeah. never gonna be anything more than that and in that moment penguin was like kind of like how it was with vic where it's like as long as you, penguin is as good to you as you are to him yeah and in that moment he was like oh oh i'm nothing oh oh so i am oh okay yeah never mind then never mind then i'm just gonna go i don't you're right i don't work for, you're right I'm, I'm just here to if i'm just if i just work if i'm just here to do my job then i'm just gonna go do my job well my job I get paid by your dad. So I have to talk to your dad. Yeah. I have to tell him what this was, what happened. Not yeah. again. I honestly am going to say, I believe he had no idea that is where that was going to go. I, I genuinely believe that. I genuinely believe this Oz Cobb just thought he was, he was you know, keeping people informed that needed to be informed. Just, yeah. He was just doing his job. Yeah. Cause he, 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 cause at that point he also was like, well, if I don't tell them and they find out I'm dead yeah. because what's to stop, you know, Sophia at this point, how he's feeling what's to stop her from throwing me under the bus. Yeah. Cause I was here with her. You know what I mean? And sure enough, sure enough, what happens when Lou, when, when, Carmine calls Sophia into his office and he says, what's I hear about? You've been talking to a reporter. What's the first thing Sophia does? Oh, really? Yeah. You're going to believe Oz over me. You're going to yeah. believe that guy immediately. She did exactly what penguin thought she was going to do. No. Yeah. So while I do genuinely believe, like you said, you had no idea Carmine was going to throw her in Arkham. <laughs> whole or literally get the entire family to write letters saying that she's nuts oh yeah the only person who believes her is is her brother joel i mean albert <laughs> he plays he plays joel in the marvelous Ms. Maisel. everybody go watch the marvelous Ms. Maisel. um maybe anyway. <laughs> it's it's just everything about i know i've rambled a lot here but it's just i i am I am so floored at how in episode four, we've kind of tied up all the loose ends as far as like the mystery goes. And it's like, cool. Now we can just kind of go forward. Well, you know what this kind of reminds me of? And I, I know I think I'm one of the only people who really like this movie is the movie Troy with Brad Pitt. And um, I have a weird soft movie. spot for that movie. Well, because there is a point in that movie where you're like, Hector's the only guy doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. And you're yep. like, and both of them are just trying to do what they think is right for their people, him and Achilles. So when they have to face off, you're like, I know this isn't going to go Hector's way for multiple different reasons. Yeah. Yeah. You know, One, reading not books. Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah. Like reading books, knowing, seeing what's happened through this movie, but there's also, a part yeah. of this, but, but like, no, like, he truly is like, I think there was one time in Twitter where it was like, you know, name, name a character in a movie who didn't deserve to die. And I was like, Hector, he's the mm -hmm. only guy in the entire movie. Who's honestly doing the right thing. Everybody mm -hmm. else sucks. Yeah. Including he, Achilles. He dies because his, you know, younger brother was horny. Well, he, he yeah. dies because he didn't do the smart thing and go, yeah, you guys should just shoot him. I'm not going out there. <laughs> no, that too. Anyway, uh, but my point more is like at this point now, like you said earlier, like, I don't know who to root for. She yeah. is totally justified in what she's doing and how she's going to like, cause I mean, dude, penguin ditched her bad. Well, cause at that point, well, and also that's another thing is we get, we get the full other side of when the Maroney showed up. Yeah. Sophia knows everything. Yeah. Cause he owned up to everything. Cause he straight up says in front of Sophia, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking them over to help you. Yeah. So at that point he's like, well, I have to leave her. She knows. I'm yeah. fucked. So at that point, it's a survival. It's him and Vic now. He's got nothing else. He's got yeah. him and Vic and the drug, and that's it. Which yeah. means that, which now throws any predictions I had for this show 
out the window. I didn't think the blow up like this was going to happen <laughs> until like episode six or seven. It happened at the midpoint. <laughs> Is how many episodes? Eight or six? Yeah, eight episodes. We are halfway through, my guy. Yeah. So now we're going to everybody going after the penguin. The penguin, he's either going to have to hire an army or figure out a way to get back in somebody's good graces. Cause you know, look, unless he kind of pulls something of like, Hey, Sophia, you and I could work together to take out the Maronis and then we can settle our differences after. I don't know, but she, cause she cleaned <laughs> the effing yeah. house. Yes, she did. <laughs> and, and I tell you what, the moment she let that little girl leave the table, I was like, Oh, she's killing everybody in this. Everyone here is going to die. Like, everyone. Everybody's yeah. dead. Yeah, you're all doomed. Um, so. I, oof, I, I can't believe like they're they're taking it into full just like Sophia Gigante, like you know, or, or uh, Gigante. How are you, I, they, they, it's a comic book. They don't pronounce pronounce stuff in the book. I go off the text. Um, <laughs> so like, we're just. I, yeah, she she quite literally cleaned the house with gas. Uh, 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 what a! I'm watching her walk around. I'm like, what is she? What? It took me a minute to realize what exactly she had done. I, I'm not gonna lie. How she managed to keep VD from dying, I'm not super sure. She opened the, the window when she's That's smoking right. and opens That's the window. Right. She's in okay. his room. Gotcha. Okay, I missed that. It was a lot of things going on, and it was very late. Um, but also. Poor Johnny Feedy just can't catch a break. <laughs> Every time dude goes to bed and wakes up naked and he's got a gun in his face. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought he was dead for sure. I can't believe he's still around. So uh, I th like this is that whole thing. Like she killed all the heads of the family. So now bloodline wise, it's her and this dude. Who's yeah. technically not bloodline if memory serves. So like now she's totally in control without anybody to, to stand up to her. And she right. needs this guy to help like back that up. That's what I think is you're now, she is the head of the organization. You've killed anybody else who could oppose her. Yeah. And now like, Hey, you're going to help me organize this thing. Cause we're going to go kill the penguin and all the Maronis. Yeah. Cause it's, cause at this point they can just, cause at this point she knows Oz sold them out to the Maronis. So all he, all she has to say is, Hey, Oz fucked all of us. Yeah. He sold us out to the Maronis. You and I are all that's left. Let's get the rest of the Falcone army together and go take the sons of bitches down. Yeah. And now it's going to have to be Oz. Yeah. And before we do that, there's a little girl in the greenhouse. I need you to send her to the best school possible. Yes. So she can get a really good education and forget all this ever happened. Yeah. Let's send her, <laughs> let's send her to, uh, let's send her to Bloodhaven. I hear, I hear some cool <laughs> stuff going on in Bloodhaven. I hear, uh, uh, Selena Kyle moved out there again. Another, another, uh, really neat. I, I forgot to mention earlier, uh, uh, allusion back to Selena's story in the Batman is when, um, uh, Sophia asks Alberto things like, does dad have like relationships with the girls down in the, in the, in the club and the 44 below. And he's like, well, I wouldn't say relationships. And it's like, again, yeah. like, and this is around that time where it's like, I, when they were listing off, I swear to God, when they were listing off the names of the, the victims, I was waiting for one of them to be Selena's mom. Yeah. Because, but you know, it, it stands to reason that maybe she wasn't one of the ones because I think the ones they were looking for were like, you know, the higher end, you know. It, well, the, he the, just strangled her and got rid of her. He didn't try and cover it up with a hangman thing. Oh, that could be it too. That could be it. Yeah. Um, she's just a waitress. You dump her body. You know what I mean? That sounds horrible to say, but you know what I mean? Like, no, I, that's, and that's what I was getting at. Is I feel like, I feel like there's the nothing were, wrong with waitressing. No, no, no. Please. I, I, that's what I was getting at was I feel like the ones they were investigating were like, for lack of a better term, like people who'd be missed, you know yes. what I mean? Like people who like were public enough figures that like they're, I have to go back and watch it again. I could, I could be remembering it wrong. <laughs> By all means, light me up in the comments, you know, but, but either way, I would, it does seem like that was still yet another little breadcrumb back to like, don't forget this is based, this is a spinoff of yeah. Batman. <laughs> so I'm, I don't want to wait a week for another episode, man. <laughs> but I do know that next week's episode is called Homecoming. And I don't know how to feel about that. 
Does Sophia know about his mom? Well, remember, he told her at Alberto's funeral that his mom died a couple years ago. Okay, so he does. So nobody he, knows but him. He, yeah, the the story he's telling every. That's why, in order to go visit his mom, he takes two trains and a car that he leaves in a, a random car. He leaves in a in a parking lot. Yeah, you know why? You know he tells Vic, "You tell anybody about this, I'll go. I'll, I'll gut you like a fish." To, you know, to, to yeah. bleed out on the sidewalk. He. And then, yeah, when they're at Alberto's funeral, he's like, yeah, my mom told me, she's like, did you ever ask her? I never did. She died a few years back. It's like, yeah, so he's yeah. telling everybody. So I'm assuming homecoming means that they're going back to his mom's, but there's no way you plant the MacGuffin of a, a hidden mom he's trying to keep safe if Sophia is not going to eventually find out about it. Yeah. Because remember, she also now knows that he killed Alberto. Yeah. She knows everything. So... So yeah, now now it's now it's everybody's killed or be killed. So bro, I'm so ready for next week. <laughs> I'm also ready for everyone to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I'm getting really tired. God dog it. People not doing it. They really I need do. to put a post-up note. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe. Like, it's it's so easy. It's one click, but um anyway, it, help, is, it helps us if you subscribe. Us. Yeah, it's a free way to help us. It makes us it makes us, you know like we're doing something that matters anyway guys uh we hope you've uh let us know down below anything we may have missed or not gone over or, the, or your own thoughts on this episode down in the comments below uh if you haven't already check out our podcast we are the batman podcast new episodes every friday and uh we will see you guys again here next time for another review of the penguin on the channel see you guys next time Bye bye